hello friends this is a video for uh, how to configure slicer program so first of all open repetier host software this is a repetier host okay it's open so first step is to configure your printer so click on this printer setting now the port after you have connected USB cable with your laptop with your uh, Arduino board you need to know the which port is communication communicate so if you there are so many ports so to know which port is open control panel uh, let us close this and then uh, write device manager okay here it is and in com and lpt you can see the i have attached mega 2560 in com 27 okay now we know which comp is connected so close con close the control panel and again go back to printer settings and select 27 and select 250000 board red okay and then apply okay now the next step is place object on this on this white space so there is a black dot black dot means uh, origin so load you can uh, you can load stl file or you can just uh, download from thing in thingiverse.com so I have already downloaded a, a first calibration for the calibration object uh, just for the calibration first object to test the printer I have already downloaded one STL file from thingiverse here it is on desktop so so let us open thingiverse uh, sorry uh, 0.5 mm thin walls so this is an object a simple object just for calibration purpose so uh, for the left click you can move around and to place the print the object will print on the center so if you want to print another center click here click here and then you can move anywhere okay let us print over here and if you want to copy multiple object then here is a uh, button if you put two extra pieces then copy then it will become three uh, right now this option is selected so that's why it is moving click here and then it will move around okay so uh, let us delete extra two object because we just need to taste one and it is not in the center right now so to make this center click on this object and center object it is now center so now we need to slice in the layer this object is not sliced yet so we need to slice in the uh, slice this object before we start printing so click on this slicer but uh, we need to configure the slicer configuration as per our machine parameters our machine so click on this configuration it will take little time yes it is now open uh, so it is currently default this is a you can create many profiles currently profiles means if you have uh, so many nozzles of different diameters you can uh, when you you can just change the profile as per your uh, machine uh, machine uh, machine specification or machine uh, sp specification okay uh, so click on 
so it is a 0.4 mm layer height so we do not need to change anything because our nozzle uh, diameter is 0.4 mm it is slightly lesser than 0.4 mm because at the center the heat bed is little curved so it, it may be little uh, so we need to uh, first layer height is little smaller than other layer height so that we do not need to change anything if we want to change in the speed here is a different speed so first the perimeters we need to create the finished object at the outside so the f perimeters uh, speed is lower and other speed are higher we, we can you can change but it is a uh, i think the best and economical speed for the 3d printer higher the speed the quality may decrease so so we do not need to change anything right now you can test the other speed later so click on this filament setting if we have the pla so the extruder temperature default is 200 but uh, for the smooth to assure the smooth extrusion make it 210 and other layer is 220 why first layer is more uh, less the temperature because the first layer is printing slowly another layer is printing very fast so the so the temperature must be higher if we if the speed is higher because filament have less time to pass through the hot end so the temperature must be higher in fast speed and the heat bed temperature at the first for the PLA uh, 70 degree is the best best uh, temperature for the PLA so these these are setting for the PLA so we can change this profile as a PLA so click on this button save and write PLA okay uh, one more we, we forget one thing so close this diameter so our PLA diameter is 1.75 mm and uh, now click on save button and save as PLA 1.75 so one profile is uh, is uh, created now click on printer setting so print center if our uh, uh, heat, bed is, uh, heat bed is 200, 200 so the center of course be 100 but uh, as some of some part takes by some excruse, excruder size so uh, write just 80 by 80 you can change the center uh, uh, later as per your uh, after the printing so make it 80 by 80 right now and uh, click on this excruder one so nozzle diameter is 0.4 mm that we have supplied the kit and no need to change anything any anything other everything is uh, very economical and then uh, save this printer setting extruder setting as a uh, 0.4 nozzle okay you can just close it so uh, now after configuration select your profile we have just uh, selected 0.4 mm nozzle PLA 1.75 and print setting there is a, a already default setting so we have not created in print setting any profile it is just default and uh, now click on this slice button okay so object has been sliced uh, you can see the layer uh, here is a basic information estimated time is 4, four minute 9 second and filament is 1 meter and 59 centimeter length and uh, 25 layers okay so now it's a uh, it's t uh, time to connect uh, your uh, printer so you can connect the, uh, click on this button connect it is now connected 
and now you can start printing okay so uh, this is a one method if you are using usb cable uh, to connect your computer so you can ju just start printing now but if you are using memory card to run your machine without computer then you do not need to click on start printing you can click on gcode editor so here is a gcode that is generated by the slicer and then click on save button and now i you can save in the memory card uh, right now i have not inserted any memory card so uh, desktop i am save on the desktop save okay so g code has been saved then you can close close this uh, here is a notepad file and this file you need to send in the memory card and just send then then insert the memory card into the machine and then select the design and then uh, the printing will start first the heat bed gets start heating then it will automatically start printing okay so thank you